Hey guys, so I just realized I am an asshole and I never posted the part two to my first DJ gig. <laughs> so this is it. So this is post DJ gig, obviously. And I wanted to share my thoughts on, you know, how things went, what it was like, you know, an experience for anybody that is a new DJ that's never played a gig outside their house before or on like a loud speaker system, etc. These were kind of the things I experienced that I just wanted to share. Um, yeah, so first of all, I was super nervous as you may or may not, but probably uh, were able to tell from the part one video pre-gig. Um, I literally was like, I can't breathe all day. I was like, totally just on like attitude, <laughs> you know, like I was just freaking out. And um, it was a lot of work for me because I was producing the event as well. So it wasn't just like I got a gig and I just showed up, you know, to play. I had to, um, I had like people helping me obviously, but like we had to set up the whole place, like the lights, the stage, like all of that stuff, you know, the, t the tickets, the RA, like everything was on me because I was producing the event as well. And so that just made things a little bit even more or crazy so um thing one maybe for your first gig like don't produce the <laughs> and it'll make it a little bit easier uh because yeah um doing everything was just a lot and so it made everything even more crazy but you know once the stage was set up and the lights were set up i went home and just tried to breathe and um luckily i was pre-prepared with my set like i had already you know made a a, a playlist of all the songs and I had already decided you know what song I wanted to start with and uh, I kind of had that um, planned out enough that I wasn't freaking out so that was nice and then um, you know my outfit I had it so I, I planned as much as I could which really took a lot of the pressure off which was good um, but the things I wanted to talk about was like when the gig happened so I got on luckily I was playing on my own decks I had never played CDJs before and I have another video about that so check that out on my first time playing on CDJs but I had my own uh, XDJ board so I was comfortable on it and I was able to record the set which was nice because I wanted to listen back at the end and see like how I did um, but one of the main things that you know was bad for me was I didn't really have like a monitor proper so I couldn't hear like the speakers for the party were set up really close to me and so I literally could hear nothing in my headphones I was pretty much mixing blind I I wasn't able to hear anything and that was like the biggest thing that I experienced I was like damn uh, it's not like mixing at home you know where you've got the headphones on and you can hear every little sound like this was like I heard nothing uh, so that was interesting Interesting, and then um, you know I messed up a lot. I even wore, and I think we took it out of the video, but I wore this big jacket, and at, at one point the sleeve like hit the cue button, and the music stopped, and I had my headphones on so loud, you know, because I was trying to hear that like I barely even noticed, it, and I was like, oh my god, so that was like my nightmare come true, <laughs> you know? Oh my god, that was like the worst thing that could possibly have happened, but nobody cared. And, and that was a lesson that I learned is that even though the music stopped and it was a total like screw up, um, everybody, you know, was still having a good time. And like, it was like, whatever. Um, there was a lot of other things I messed up, but I think those were like the two. So like, watch your <laughs> sleeves, you know? And then like this, the monitor were probably the two biggest lessons that I took away from the gig. Um, overall though, because I was so prepared with my set list that, I, I really did have a good time. I was able to connect with the audience and just see how people were reacting. And, um, you know, luckily, like everybody that came kind of knew the music I was going to play. So like they were there for that music. You know, it wasn't like random people that had just come to a club that didn't know what to expect. So I, the vibe was really good because I had curated that, um, you know, before since it was my party. So that was nice. And that was one thing that I think was better than just like showing up to a club where nobody knows who you are or what music you're going to play. Um, and yeah, I have I have more videos to talk about 
about like things like that um, in other vlogs. But I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. And uh, you know, tell me about your first, ex first experience DJing. And if you have any questions, um, leave them in the chat. And I will see you guys again soon.